Hey guys, in this video, I want to show you one of the trickiest things for a lot of designers to pull off. And um, what, I, what it is, is uh, when you have multiple columns and you have your body copy that is going to align throughout the columns, but that itself is very easy. However, the problem is when you want to add headlines between the body copy uh, and uh, still have so your body copy uh, nicely aligns perfectly throughout all the columns and you want to have um, your own letting to the headlines here and maybe you want to have some space before and maybe after I personally think that keeping it to zero for the space after is better and I'm gonna show you here First, I'm going to show you if I press Command K and Command 7, I believe on Creative Cloud, it's Command 8 to get to these settings here. And the baseline grid for the document here is 11.533 points. So keep that in mind. If I go to my headline here and I go to basic character formats for my letting for my headline here, it is 12.5. So it is a different value here so as as I play around with this number here you can see that uh, the body copy jumps around and snaps perfectly so we're not gonna have any issues with body copies aligning throughout the columns however let's try to find something that looks good so um, you're gonna have to take into account the uh, how it looks when you have different number of lines for your headlines. Now this uh, to me doesn't look that good, but I had a setting of 12.5. At least it looked good with uh, two lines and three lines and um, probably okay with when you have one line. It's not perfect, but it's better uh, to have 12.5 in this case than 13, which looked ugly for three rows and for uh, four, four lines, four lines of text here. So let's go back to 12.5. And um, if you see my settings here for the indents and spacing, you can see that I have nothing set to space after. And let me show you, if I just enter 0 0.1, it is going to create a really ugly spacing here between the headline and the body copy. So I'm going to go back to zero here. And the reason for this is that the letting of the headline is pushing down the body copy. And uh, if it gets pushed down far enough, it is going to simply skip a line and snap to the following baseline. So I'm just going to set it to zero here. And I think that it's it looks better when you have um, uh, the headline and the following body copy that belongs to it as close as possible to each other but we want to separate with some space above the headline now this is tricky because it's not always going to look good for example in this scenario when i have um, four lines it it really doesn't look good it just looks like it's in between these uh, texts here and Personally, I would like to push this down a bit. So if we continue adding some text here, let's just see how it looks with uh, five lines. Yeah, so it seems that once you get to a certain number of line, is going to have, I mean, it, after three lines of text, it's going to start looking a bit bad. So. I mean, what can you do? This is, uh, it, it's tricky here. So um, what I want to try here is I want to try with um, increasing the space before. So the space before actually means the space above the headlines here and space after is obviously under it. So let's try increasing the value here. I'm just going to reposition the dialogue here. Okay, so um, I'm going to increase it here and see if it looks a bit better. Let's try with five, even six. Hmm. Okay, let's try with five here and just fill out some more text. 
I want to see how it looks. Um, with when I have two lines. I'm going to delete some text here. And uh, when working with these things, another issue is uh, that your headline and your body copy is not going to align. Now you can play around in some scenarios until you find a setting that makes the headlines snap or have them be placed basically on the baseline. So let's edit our the letting here. And maybe we can edit our space before as well. Let's see here. Mm. Now it looks like we almost have it on the line here, on the baseline. Let's try this. But then we have the issue of ugly spacing after here. So um, I can totally see why this is the most difficult, one of the most difficult and most annoying problems for a lot of designers. So let's go up in the value here. Um, I think I'm going to have to reduce the value a bit. Maybe 4.1. Yeah, something like that. And I think it's starting to look a bit decent here. Um, but then again, we have the problem, which makes, I mean, this here doesn't look good. It looks quite horrible in my opinion. And, um, let, let's try if, if we, um, have this be two lines. I don't think it's going to make a difference because of the starting point of the text or the headline. I just had an idea here. Let me try something here. Um, let's, um, create, let's copy this. And I'm just going to rename it to one line. And press OK. And I'm going to apply this when we have one line. And let's see here, baseline shift. All right, let's see if we can find something. Five, maybe. No, that's too much. 
4.4 hmm let's uh, let's try increasing the letting here So uh, it seems like no matter what you do, there's always going to be something that isn't perfect. So um, let's cancel out of this. And I think that we're going to have to settle with, um, with these settings here. And um, maybe I could play around. What I wanted to do is I wanted to have a little more spacing between the... Um, the, the the letting here and what I did instead was that I reduced the the font size and now let's see if I go to body copy and I reduce this to nine as well I'm just gonna copy some text here And because we didn't change the grid, we only played around with the text, it's not going to affect any of the alignments themselves. Let's just check at this, this first headline here. So um, I'm gonna try something here. If I, now one thing I wanna show you is uh, when you wanna insert one of these headlines, what you need to do is you need to and uh, press enter here and after the headline so let's pretend that this is our headline what I did was that I pressed enter here and uh, I'm gonna press enter here as well and let's apply our headline setting here now I want to have this be one line. I just want to see how it looks. Let's apply. Yeah, so it seems here when we are between uh, body copies here, as we are here, then I can, I can apply the regular one. But when I'm here, I need to push down the uh, the text a bit so that it aligns nicely with the first line here and uh, also get a nice alignment between this body copy text and this headline and I did that by creating a, a new style I copied the the original headline and I played around with the baseline shift to push it down so we got nice alignment here Uh, now, I'm not going to go into how to create the columns and margins. This is uh, shown in other videos, but I just wanted to create this video and uh, maybe get you start thinking about how you work with text and uh, headline and how you align everything. And I hope that this video has been of value to you. Thank you for watching.